Kenny's asked, uh, can you go into calculating roll centre without the use of expensive software? What are some general rules to get the most, uh, most of us very close? Uh, okay, Kenny, it is a complex topic for me to really do full justice to here in a webinar. So I'm going to try and give you the abbreviated version. Uh, first of all, for those who've never heard that term, the roll centre is basically the point uh, in space that the car is going to rotate about as it rolls in a corner. Uh, the roll centre, there will be a roll centre specific for the front suspension and the rear and it's an aspect of the suspension geometry that will locate that roll centre wherever it happens to be. Now the roll centre height and in, in particular the gradient uh, between the front roll centre height and the rear roll centre height, this will affect the handling balance of the car or in other words uh, whether the car is going to tend to be neutral or understeer or oversteer. So it's a very powerful tuning tool. To get into your specifics there, uh, you don't necessarily need expensive software. You can do this using nothing more than some graph paper and some carefully taken measurements. But in order to get accurate information, you do need to be quite specific about uh, the location and space of all of your suspension pickup points or pivot points. Uh, I can't give you too many specifics because uh, the roll centre height is going to depend so much on the particular car. Uh, whether it's front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, uh, whether it's front engine or mid engine uh, and that's going to also come down to what you do to the car. Let's talk about one scenario that's very very common though. Uh, obviously one of the first things a lot of people do when they're modifying a car for race use is that they're going to fit aftermarket suspension. Generally this is also going to involve lowering the ride height. Now most people could would assume and to a point quite correctly that by lowering the ride height what we're doing is lowering the centre of gravity of the car and this should make the car handle better. The problem is that while yes we have lowered the, the centre of gravity, we also need to consider the amount we've lowered the centre of gravity in relation to what's happened to the roll centre height. So what we find is that there is a moment arm essentially between the roll centre height and the centre of gravity. Normally we're going to find that the centre of gravity, well normally I say, in all instances we're going to find that the centre of gravity is above our roll centre height and this is why as we turn into a corner the car will tend to roll out of the corner. So if we're turning to the left the car will body roll to the right. So that's the effect of that moment arm, the centre of gravity acting about our roll centre height. Now when we lower our car as I mentioned we lower the centre of gravity but we'll also find in most instances that the roll centre height will lower by a greater amount. So what this is actually doing is despite lowering our centre of gravity it's making that moment arm bigger. What this means is that the effect of the, um, the weight transfer on the car, the force acting through the centre of gravity is actually going to make the car body roll more. So one of the aspects we do need to consider is adjusting our roll centre height or correcting our roll centre height so that we can run a lowered car with that lower centre of gravity without ending up with a larger moment arm between that roll centre height and our centre of gravity. So this is why we see a lot of uh, aftermarket kits available that perform roll centre adjustment to get our, our roll centre height back to or close to where it was in fact actually form giving us all of those benefits. Sorry I know that is a long winded topic and particularly without the benefit of a few graphical slides to really show what's going on it can be a little bit hard to explain. Hopefully I've done justice to it there Kenny. That question was taken from one of our free live lessons. If you like free stuff and you want to expand your knowledge click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about optimising the performance and handling of your car on the racetrack as well as improving your skills behind the wheel plus you'll have the chance to ask your own questions which we'll be answering live.